Bono is back. It's not a bad Bono's back. Bono is back. He's he's no, he's great. He's he's really um, really enjoying the shows and uh, performing so well, singing like a bird. I mean, if you really compare the set list of the, the the opening of this tour to what we're doing now, it's radically different. As as is a lot of the the show imagery and the, and the, and the effects that we use, the, the production effects. So. Yes, the, the framework, the stage is the same, but the content is very different. It's really all about contrasts, you know. We have this incredible visual uh, potential with this production, but one of the most fun things is to turn it off. You know, as, as we're going through the shows, we we start to see opportunities to, to, to put in some songs that we haven't played before. And so Roku was one that just occurred to us as being a, a song that fit a particular mood at a certain moment in, in the show that we, we didn't have covered. So we uh, dusted off uh, that song and we, we'd never played it live, so it was, it was real, real fun. Indeed, we are with us. Um, when we came to play Summers Live, we've always faced this conundrum of, you know, there's only Adam, Larry, myself, and Bono occasionally on guitar to, um, to, to, to play these arrangements, which are often involving multiple guitar parts and keyboard parts and all sorts of percussion parts. So what we've utilized in the past is sometimes sequencers that we play with that, that fill in some of those other parts. And uh, so that's really next door to, to remix territory. And uh, with Crazy Tonight on this tour, we experimented with being far more about a remix aesthetic and playing with loops. And Larry, you know, up front playing the djembe, you know, there's no pretension there. He's not playing the backbeat of Crazy Tonight. Like we have a new arrangement of Magnificent, which is again in that sort of almost remix uh, style. And yet the thing that people often talk about after the show is the acoustic moment, where Bono and myself just play one acoustic guitar and the vocal, where it's brought down to this very raw, most simple arrangement. So I think the contrast sort of starts to make everything feel a little bit different and, and special. Yeah. 